So uh, this video is going to be for anyone interested in how to calculate the lay stake in matched betting. Obviously it's not necessary to do matched betting because uh, you can just use calculators online to do that for you. When I started matched betting I was using Profit Accumulator so they provide a calculator where you just type in the back stake and the back odds and the, the lay odds as well and it will just tell you what lay stake to put in the exchange. Um, but I was interested to know the actual maths behind it, so if you are as well, then watch this. Um, so you need to think about what your profit is going to be under each scenario. And when I say scenario, I mean whether the bookies win or whether the um, whether the exchange wins. So if we're assuming that the bookies win, then to calculate our profit, uh, we've got the back odds multiplied by the back stake and what that gives you is the total returns on your bet. So if, for example, the back odds were 2.0 and the back stake was £10, then my uh, revenue is going to be, or my returns on that bet is going to be £20, £20. But I already started out with £10, so I need to subtract that back stake there. Um, and that will give me the total profit on a bet. So if ordinarily I just placed a bet on the bookies and that was it and I didn't place a bet on the exchange, then that would be my profit from that bet. But of course, because it's matched betting, I've put a bet on the exchange. So I need to, I've lost this money on the exchange because the bookies have won, so I need to subtract this. And that is exactly the same calculation. Lay odds, but you're obviously using the lay odds and the lay stake. Lay odds multiplied by lay stake minus the lay stake is equal to the profit. But we don't actually know what the lay stake is at the moment. That's what we're trying to find out. If the exchange wins, on the other hand, then it's much simpler. Because if the bookies lose, we don't actually lose any money. Because that was a free bet. So if the exchange wins, we have lay stake is equal to the profit. So, for example, if I put £10 on the exchange, then my profit's going to be uh, £10. Because I don't lose anything from the bookies. Okay, uh, moving down, um, if we now set the lay stake to X, because that's what we're trying to find out, it's an unknown, and the profit we also don't know, we'll set that to Y, but those three numbers are what we're, we're given from the bookies and, and the exchange, so we know what they are. So that's, I've just picked some random numbers there to show you an example. So plug in those numbers in, Y is equal to our profit, it's unknown, that's equal to the Back odds multiplied by the back stake minus the back stake. Uh, and then we need to, that's our profit from the bookies. Then we need to subtract the losses from the exchange. So the uh, exchange odds multiplied by the exchange stake and then multiplied by, uh, sorry, subtract the exchange stake as well for the same reason we subtract this uh, 10 here. So simplifying, we get y is equal to 20 minus 3x and that's just a straight line relationship, mx plus c. And um, for the exchange, again, we've got y is equal to x. Don't need to simplify that at all. So plotting those relationships, this line here, that's if the bookies win. So on the y, on the y axis, sorry, we've got our profit, so increasing profits as we go up. And on the x axis, we've got our lay stake. So um, this is increasing lay stake as we go up the x axis. So for this line, um, you can see that it's at maximum when our lay stakes at a minimum zero. So if we were guaranteed to win on the bookies, we obviously wouldn't want to put a corresponding bet on the exchange because we're gonna we know the exchange is gonna lose, so that's gonna subtract from our profit as as our lay stake increases, our profit goes down if we win on the bookies. Um, and what happens here is that uh, the lay stake has increased so much that the liability created on the exchange outweighs any profit gained from the bookies, so we start to make a loss down here. So if we were to put a lay stake on around, say, here, then two things could happen. We could win on the exchange and we'd get a quite a big profit, but then this is just gambling because equally we could lose on the exchange and we'd make a loss overall then. So what we want to do is find a way that it's uh, the profit is the same regardless of what outcome uh, happens. So 
and that is where these two lines meet. So what lay stake would give a profit of equal to where these two lines meet here? So in order to calculate that, you simply go back to this equation here, which is our equation for if the bookies win. And we know that the condition for where the two lines meet, y is equal to x, because that's where that's where the line intersects. So we simply replace uh, y in the equation. So this was normally y is equal to 20 minus 3x, but now it's x is equal to 20 minus 3x. And simplifying, we can find out that our lay stake, in order to guarantee uh, a profit, regardless of what outcome comes in, is equal to five pounds. So the reason why you want to make sure that the odds um, have a so that the odds between the the lay odds and the back odds, you want to make sure that there's a really small difference between those two things. The reason why is because if, for example, in this example, our lay stake, our lay odds, sorry, were four. If our lay odds were changed to five, but our back odds were kept at three, so that's a bigger difference now, then what that does is this line is fixed, it's so y is equal to x every time, but now this line changes, it's got a more negative gradient, it's steeper, so that means the intersection is going to be further down and therefore the profit is going to be reduced. So if you look at where that red line meets the y-axis, that's our profit for where the lines intersect. It's lower down than for this example. So here our lay odds were four and everything else was kept the same as for this, apart from the lay odds were five. So the, the difference in the odds was bigger and therefore our, our profit was reduced.